Hey guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane, and today I wanted to show you guys uh, the latest over-the-air update. It's been leaked and pre-rooted by Team Black Hat. Uh, it is version 4.5.602. Uh, it is for the Droid X, and I wanted to show you guys how to install it. It is very simple. Uh, so far, it has not been released to the public, although I hear it should be released to the public at 12 p.m. this evening. Uh, so, check back here and click the link in the description, or bookmark the link in the description and refresh it after midnight tonight. If you're watching this uh, past August 17th, then it is available. Uh, so just go to the link in the description, I'll have it there. Um, so if you're installing the public file that's not from Team Black Hat, your install method will be a little different. You'll need to SBF your phone, Z4 root, um, you know, root your phone using the Z4 root app, and then you'll need to install Droid 2 Bootstrapper, and from there uh, you will install the .602 pre-rooted file which I'll have at the link in the description. Um, if you have the Team Black Hat apps, the easiest way to install this ROM and you would just go to Team Black Hat app and when it loads up this thing is one dollar and eighty six cents. I have a link to it in the description. Uh, it's worth the buy, and if you purchase it, you will be supporting Team Black Hat, and they bring us all the latest uh, versions of Gingerbread for the Droid X, and we really do appreciate everything that they, that they do. So go there and purchase that application, and it'll give you the easiest method for installing this ROM. So you will select the full Gingerbread 2.3.3. Uh, 45.602 all-in-one updater. You'll download that file and you can install this from any version of .340 uh, Froyo. So if you're on a Froyo ROM uh, or you are on a second init ROM you can use the all-in-one updater and all you'll need to do is flash into Clockwork Recovery from the ROM that I'm in. It's a second init ROM. I press power, reboot, and hit recovery, select OK. And this ROM is very easy to install, uh, but it is different from installing any other ROMs because you do have to go in there and manually, you have to go in there and manually reformat your system, cache, and Dalvik. Okay. So the first thing you're going to want to do is wipe your data and factory reset. Yes. And this will take you just a few minutes here. And then you will go down to wipe cache. Select yes. Then you'll go down to advanced. Wipe Dalvik yes then you'll go back go down to mounts and storage select yes go to format system select yes and then you will go to format data select yes to format and then select format cache. Do not skip the formatting of the system data and cache. That part is very important. A lot of people were reporting that the all-in-one updater didn't work, but come to find out they didn't format system data or cache. Okay, and then you'll go to the install zip from SD card. You'll need to locate it. Uh, most of my files download to the download folder, but because I installed it from the Team Black Hat app, it'll be in a different folder, it'll be in the Team Black Hat folder. Let's see here. So you find the Team Black Hat folder and you'll go to the 602 Odex all in one dot zip. Select that and click yes and select that. So if you get 
the version that will be released tomorrow. It'll be different. All you'll have to do is SBF to Froyo. If you don't know how to SBF your phone, I have a tutorial on how to SBF your phone, so follow that tutorial. Uh, root your phone via the Z4 root application, and then uh, install the Droid 2 Bootstrapper. You'll bootstrap into recovery from Droid 2 Bootstrapper, and you will install uh, the file that is that will be released uh, this evening at 12 o'clock. Uh, I suggest just going to the link in the description and purchasing the Team Black Hat app. It's $1.86. You'll have it forever, so every time he releases something, you'll have it before anybody else. He always tends to release things three days earlier than he releases them publicly, uh, so I highly recommend getting that application. Uh, but if you decide not to purchase that application, just head to the link in the description and you can get that file. Um, and like I said, just make sure you're on Froyo before you flash the public file. And I'm going to go ahead and take a break here and we'll come back when it's finished. Okay, so after about five minutes, you'll get this install from SD card complete. At that point, it will go back. And you'll select Reboot System Now. And of course, it takes you a little while to reboot the system on the first boot. Uh, if you did it correctly, you'll have this red M, followed by the Droid I boot animation. If you get stuck at this M, you've done something wrong, you'll need to SBF and try it again. Uh, but if you did it right, this is what should happen. You should get the droid boot logo. <laughs> and as soon as it boots, you will be on the latest version of Gingerbread. Uh, guys, if you like what we're doing here, subscribe to the channel. Also, head on over to droidmoderx.com for all the latest in ROMs, mods, and hacks for your Droid X phone. Uh, we're trying to expand. Of course, we're going to keep covering the Droid X uh, because it's where we got our start, guys, of course. Plus, it's your favorite phone. So we're going to keep covering the Droid X. There's lots to come, such as HTC Sense for the Droid X. Uh, P3 Droid is going to begin work on his Tranquility update, uh, which should be coming soon. He said as soon as we get uh, everything squared away with this update to Gingerbread, then he will begin his work on that. Uh, with second edit ROMs, uh, we've got Framework 43 is working on. Um, he's working on second edit ROMs for the newest baseband, which is cool because that should help save on battery life. Uh, so there's a lot to come. So just keep watching, subscribe, and check out DroidModerX.com. Thanks, guys. Intoxicated world.